I'm honored to nominate former General Lloyd Austin as the 28th Secretary of Defense. He was the 200th person ever to attain the rank of a four-star general, but only the sixth African-American to ever do that. He was the first African-American general officer to lead the Army Corps in combat. He was the first African-American to command an entire theater of war. And, if confirmed, he'll be the first African-American at the helm of the Defense Department in well over 200 years. Another milestone. And he's a barrier-breaking career, has been like this throughout his career. Lloyd Austin retired from the military service more than four years ago. But the law states that an officer must have left the service seven years before becoming Secretary of Defense. There's a good reason for this law that I fully understand and respect. And I would not be asking for this exception if, had not, if I did not believe this moment in our history didn't call for it. It does call for it. When I concluded my military service four years ago, I hung up my uniform for the last time and went from being General Lloyd Austin to Lloyd Austin. It is an important distinction and one that I make with utmost seriousness and sincerity. And so I come to this role, this new role, as a, as a civilian leader, with military experience to be sure, but also with a deep appreciation and reverence for the prevailing wisdom of civilian control of our military. I recognize that being a member of the President's Cabinet requires a different perspective and unique responsibilities from a career in uniform. And I intend to keep this at the forefront of my mind. And I look forward to surrounding myself with experienced, capable civilian appointees and career civil servants who will enable healthy civil-military relations grounded in meaningful civilian oversight. 